Why, hello there, I'm Professor Joel, and welcome to another episode of Planet Scooby Reviews. Today we are covering Mystery in Persia, which is the third episode of the second season of Scooby, uh, the new Scooby-Doo movies. And this episode originally aired on September 22nd, 1973. Here we get the gang teaming up with a cartoon version of Genie from the popular television show, I Dream of Genie. So in this version, we get the Hanna-Barbera version of Genie, along with her klutzy sidekick called Babu who is also a genie, and we get her new master, Cory, and his cowardly pal, Henry. The animated I Dream of Genie series was called Genie, which ran for one season before Genie and Babu were uh, later appeared in this episode. Uh, the series, while produced by Hanna-Barbera, was owned by Columbia Pictures. Cory, interestingly enough, is voiced by a young Mark Hamill, pre-Star Wars. So Mark Hamill played Luke Skywalker. Of course, and uh, we he did a lot of voice acting later on with the Joker in the Batman animated series. Plus, he's done a ton since. Uh, Babu is voiced by Joe Besner, who was briefly a member of the Three Stooges from 1957 to 1959. That's of interest because the Three Stooges had their own uh, appearances on the, Scooby, the new Scooby-Doo movies, uh, but Joe Besner did not appear in those episodes. Uh, Babu would later be featured on in the Laugh Olympics part of the Scooby Doobies. Uh, if you're wondering, I don't think I will be covering or reviewing the Laugh Olympic episodes. I might if enough people want to see that, but I just don't think anyone really wants to see me review the Laugh Olympics episodes because they're not really Scooby centric. Uh, anyway, due to legal issues, Jeannie did not make the cut for the Laugh Olympics. They intended to have her on there, but uh, they had legal issues with Columbia Pictures Television who own the rights to I Dream of Genie. And uh, this is the actually the first episode to feature real supernatural beings like genies and jinns. So that's of interest. Before this, everyone was in a mask, kind of. In this episode, we get real supernatural beings. Anyway, enough of my jibber-jabber. Let's get on with the review. The episode begins with the gang driving in the Mr. Machine down a deserted stretch of road. For once, they have a full tank of gas. However, Shaggy and Scooby are hungry. While driving, they see a really cool motorcycle driven by Corey hey, and dig Henry. That, hey, dig that rig! What an out-of-sight bike! Don't they look kind of familiar? I have seen them before. As well as a genie. In this case, it's Genie the Genie. This sight causes Freddy to drive off the road and they get stuck in the mud. Shaggy and Scooby instantly fall in love with Genie, who magically gets the Mr. Machine unstuck from the mud. Looks like you did it again, Genie. It's Genie! <laughs> and those two on the bike are Cory and Henry. Those two must be in love. It is all my fault. I like it's all Fred's fault for being a rotten driver. Yeah. We'll help get your machine out of there, Fred. Good work, Genie. Thanks. Hey, that's pretty handy. Wow. Scooby and Shaggy ask for Genie to zap up some food, and everyone sits down to an impromptu picnic. We also meet Babu, who comes at the first sight of food. Apprentice Genie Babu, come out here. I'm sorry, Genie. I, I was so hungry. Babu, why are you standing in the potato salad? <laughs> oh, I thought it was coleslaw. Here we go. I think the taters are just about done. I'm just going to give them one quick whisk here. The gang decide to tag along with each other on the road as they enjoy each other's company. Babu gets a message from the genie Haji, master of all genies, who demands that they head off to Persia, which we now know as Iran. An old friend of Haji needs help, so Genie must scoot over to Persia. The gang ask if they can tag along, so Genie transports everyone over to the friend's palace. I have a message from the great Haji, master of all genies. He wants you to go to Persia. They call it Iran now. We then cut to an evil man with an evil jinn named Jadal. And Jadal implies he has evil intentions for Genie and her friends. Jadal the jinn wants revenge on Haji, as that's who's imprisoned him in a bottle centuries ago. Do you hear, Jadal? I hear, Master. The great Haji sends this mere wisp of a genie against you. Haji, 
He himself imprisoned me in this bottle 10,000 years ago. And now you shall have your revenge, evil Jin. Come, let us be there to greet them at the palace. At the palace, they notice the palace is empty, so they are a little worried to go in. The gates of the palace open up automatically, so the gang head in. Checking at the palace, they can't find anyone. So the gang decide to turn in for the evening in one of the many bedrooms. Are we here in Persia? Hi, everybody. I wonder what this place goes for. I do not think anyone is at home. Oh, Scooby, if you leave, who will be here to protect me? Let's see if anybody lives here. In Scooby, Babu, and Shaggy's bedroom, they find a mysterious man in the closet. The man teleports about the bedroom saying nothing, which terrifies everyone even further. What's in the closet, Scooby? Nothing. What's going on? There's a ghost in there. Genie! Like, I'm sure glad you're on our team. Babu calls out for Genie, who zaps the man and makes him vanish. Over in Cory and Henry's room, the two have problems with a haunted mirror where a duplicate of Henry is causing the two grief. Everyone heads back to sleep and more chaos ensues as Cory, Henry, Freddy, Daphne, Thelma, Scooby, and Shaggy all vanish through trapdoors in their respective beds. Henry, will you knock it off and go to sleep? Believe me, you're safe as if you were- No! no! No, Those bedrooms must all be booby-trapped. Looks like this one might be... Janie, greetings, <laughs> and welcome to Zindat. Everyone then ends up outside where they meet Prince Abin, who welcomes them with open arms. We also meet his uncle Abula, who we saw earlier with the evil jinn named Jadel. In order to become a sultan, the prince must rule his palace for one year without ever leaving. Unfortunately, the recent hauntings have him spooked. Prince Abin suspects Jadal the jinn has been released and there is foul play at hand. The uncle explains the prince needs to leave, however the prince refuses to despite that everyone else has left. The gang decide to stay behind to help him out despite the uncle's protests. Prince Abin has not had many visitors of late. That is true, uncle. Please, you must all call me Abin. I may not be Prince of Zindat much longer, but before he may inherit the title of Sultan, a prince must rule from this palace for one year without leaving. Strange things have been happening. Ghostly voices in the night. Probably just the wind. There is a legend that many thousands of years ago, an ancestor of mine caused an evil jinn to be imprisoned in a bottle and sealed in these walls. And you think he's making that racket? But if it was the gene who spoke, then it means he is no longer imprisoned in the bottle. Someone has released him. Exactly, my child. And that is why you must persuade my nephew to leave the palace at once. My uncle Abdullah is also my grand vizier. If you are truly his friends, you will convince Aben it is too dangerous to remain here. Even your most loyal retainers have fled the palace. The Prince of Zindat does not run from danger. Meanwhile, Scooby, Shaggy, Babu, and Henry have come across the evil Jinn, and we get a few silly chase scenes until they reunite with the rest of the gang. The evil Jinn puts Genie in a trance and swipes Genie away so everyone splits up to search the palace. Did you think you were a match for Shadol? Korinjan Modesh! As Haji, master of all genies, once imprisoned Shadol for 10,000 years, so shall be done to you! Now you will remain captive until I release you! You prattle offends me! Now, favorite of Haji, you may speak! Let me out! Let me out! Gladly! In 10,000 years! And you, Prince of Zandat, are next! The Jin, he knew your friend? You see, Avin, Genie is really a Genie! So is Babu! Okay, gang, what do we do about Genie? 
we get lots more hijinks where eventually everyone ends up in a cavern where they also find Genie. Genie and the evil Jin have a final duel and Genie imprisons Jadel once more in a bottle. They also figure out the master was the uncle who was jealous and wanted the wealth and power of the palace. Prince Abin decides to let Haji the Grand Genie decide what to do with Uncle Abdul's faith. If Jadel was in prison for 10,000 years, who released him? Well then whoever was Jadal's master really caused all the trouble. So you have defeated my slave. Uncle, but why? Because the power and wealth of this sultanate should be mine. Genie, he is an enemy, but he is my uncle. What shall I do with him? Since they are birds of a feather, they shall travel together. With another mystery solved, the gang head off on their next adventure. I give this episode a 6 out of 10. This episode was just kind of boring and plain and meh. I didn't hate it. I'll probably watch it again. I didn't hate it that much. It was way better than the Three Stooges episodes or a lot of the other season one episodes. But eh, it's just kind of, it took like 20 minutes to actually get to Persia or whatnot. And nothing really happened. And yeah, it's just not that exciting of an episode. Um, Babu. So he kind of annoyed me, but I also kind of liked him at the same time. I'm not really sure of my opinion of him. I think the voice actor's commitment to the role and the craziness of Babu made me like him, but he also annoyed me. So, eh, I, I have to think about that. Um, I think this episode would have been better, though, if it's just Genie. Uh, I had a mad crush on Genie. I want to see more of Genie. I also liked how Genie differentiated uh, the Scooby-Doo formula because she had some magical powers and... That made some for some cool and interesting things that we hadn't seen before. While, you know, it's cool to hear young Mark Hamill do some voice work. Henry and Corey just didn't add much to the episode. Maybe like 49 years ago when, you know, this episode was intended to be viewed and not not now. Uh, this episode would have been more successful for a younger audience because they would have been familiar with that I Dream of Genie cast from the Hanna-Barbera cartoon. But right now, uh, there hasn't been much of Genie in the you know, public eye or public culture. So it just, it, yeah, it just kind of fell flat for me. Uh, although I, I would like to go back and view those episodes and I might one day if they ever appear on Blu-ray. Uh, that's all, all I really got for this episode. Oh, oh yeah, also there's just too many genies in this episode and too many gins. They talk about so many genies and gins and mystique and, and that's kind of cool, but they just kind of went overboard with it, I thought. Um, you had your evil genie, you had genies... Genie master, genie good guy, and I don't know. It was cool that it took place in Iran or Persia, uh, so that was cool. Uh, and I did like the picnic scene at the start. I thought that was the best part of this episode where the kids are just having fun. For me, that was like the best. Anyway, uh, I want to thank everyone again for any views, likes, subscribes, and shares. It helps my channel grow. It helps um, you know me talk about Scooby-Doo every week, which I enjoy doing. And uh, I appreciate your views and support. Uh, it means a lot to me. And next week when I will be covering the Spirited Spooked Sports Show, I'll see you then. And until then, stay spooky.